this is Camille and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to quickly resize a picture in PowerPoint so that your file sizes are smaller and you can send them more easily via email. Plus, I'll share with you a bonus tip for finding out which of your images is taking up the most space. If you're looking for how to crop a picture in PowerPoint, click up here for that tutorial. And there are two ways to do this. Number one, you can compress your images directly in PowerPoint. That's the easy way. And number two, you can resize your photos manually using another software. You can use both methods on a presentation, but I usually like to start with the fast way and see where I end up first using PowerPoint. To do that, simply open up the presentation in PowerPoint. And before we make any changes at all, let's save this presentation as a copy so that we don't lose our work. And to do that, you can hit F12 on your keyboard or Control Shift S, which will open up the Save As dialog box. And I'm going to add a comp one for compression one and hit save. So now we have a, a copy. First thing that we're gonna do is select a picture. You can select any picture that you like, it'll do. So with this picture selected, go to picture tools, format tab and compress pictures. Now here we have a number of different options. The first option determines whether you want to apply this compression to just one image or to all of them in the presentation. Now I'm gonna untick this so that I can compress all of my pictures at once. Then we're asked if we wanna delete the cropped areas of this picture and let me just hit cancel and show you exactly what this means. If I zoom out a bit and go to the crop tool, you'll notice that there are some cropped out areas here of this picture and they've been cropped out in order to make this picture fit the full screen of the slide. So I have a beautiful image here in my presentation. And if you wanna learn some creative ways for stretching out your pictures to fill your entire screen without warping them or losing quality, check out this short PowerPoint course that we created up here on the right. Great, so I'm gonna uncheck this crop tool and I will go back to my compress pictures dialog box. So let's untick this and let's make sure this is still ticked because I wanna delete the um, cropped areas so that I can make my images even smaller. Now the last selection that I have to make here is about the size and quality of the pictures. Now, the smaller the size you pick, the smaller the file will be and the easier it will be to email. However, you will lose more on the quality side of your images. So what I recommend most of the time is to just pick something in the middle and then you can always adjust later because we saved our presentation, uh, our original one. So we'll be able to go back if need be. So what I'm gonna do is just select print and then I'm gonna hit okay. Now let's make sure to save our presentation, Control S. Now let's take a look and see what our compression did. As you can see, our file here started at 4.5 megabytes and is now three megabytes. So that's already a very, very big difference. Now, if your presentation is still too big, you can repeat the process, but this time save it to the smaller size. So let's try this. Let's go back to our presentation and let's Control Shift S again, save it as Comp 2, hit save. Great. Now let's do the same process again. Select a picture, picture tools format tab, compress pictures, and let's select email, which is the smallest one that we have because use default resolution is refers to the exact um, size that you currently have in your presentation. So email is the smallest. Hit, oh, let's make sure that we untick this and keep this ticked. So we're applying to all of our pictures and we're deleting the cropped areas again. Hit okay. Now hit save. And let's now go to our full file folder again. And you'll notice comp two is now way, way, way smaller. So we've gone from five megabytes to 500 kilobytes, um, a massive difference in size. Let's open it up and make sure that the pictures look okay. Um, you can see the pictures, definitely the quality has gone a little bit down but it still looks pretty decent. So I would say that this is generally okay. Now, if your file size is still too big, you're finding that the end result is too big or the quality of the pictures has gone too down and you need to stick to something closer to the mid range, then it's possible that, for example, for this such a small deck, a four slide deck, it's possible that you have one or two images that are giant, that are taking up the most room and that all the other images are actually okay. So this is where the bonus trick comes in and I'll show you exactly how to figure out which image is taking up the most room. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the original here and we're gonna make a copy, paste. So now we have a copy and what we're gonna do is simply click in to change the name and we're gonna change the file extension to zip. So .zip, hit enter, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna do that? You say yes. 
So now that you've converted your PowerPoint file into a zip file, you can double click it to open it and go to PPT, go to media, and here you will see all of the multimedia that is in your presentation. Now it's clear that the first three images are the really big ones. So in this case, my fourth image is actually perfectly fine. So what I could do is instead of, um, instead of compressing all the pictures, I could just compress the pictures one by one and just do the first three. And that would already save me a huge amount of room in my presentation. The other thing you can do is if it's really just one or two images out of you know 50 or 60 or 100 images, what you could do is just open one of these images in Paint or Photoshop or any photo photo editing software and reduce the image and then replace it in your presentation. So that's a quick bonus tip to find out which objects in your deck are taking up the most room and it works for all other kinds of multimedia. It's also a handy way to grab all the pictures in your deck in one go. You could just select all of these and copy them rather than having to select them in your presentation one by one by one by one. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know what you liked. If you want to learn more about how to manipulate pictures in order to create more eye-catching presentations along with mind-blowing PowerPoint tricks, check out our new short course about how to make full screen visuals in PowerPoint. I swear you'll love it. Thanks for watching. I'm Camille with PowerPoint Tips to help get you to happy hour.